Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a water pump dry run protection circuit using Arduino and flow sensor. This circuit protects our water pump from being damaged due to dry run. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So this is our dry run protection circuit for the water pump. If the on off button is pressed, the relay turns on. If there is no water flowing, the relay will turn off after a few seconds. This is the water flow sensor. If the pump is on and the water is flowing through the sensor, the relay stays on until the water is flowing through the sensor. Now let's see the connections of this circuit. So these are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its 1 pin to D3 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin D4 of Arduino and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor and its other coil pin to 5 volt pin of the Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to common terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor and its cathode to 5 full pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to 5 full pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the transistor and its anode to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor. After that, connect flow sensor and connect its positive wire, which is red one, to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its negative wire, which is the black one, to ground and its signal wire, which is the yellow one, to D2 pin of Arduino. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.